Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Can't Feel My Feet Shoe Report. Today, I'll be reviewing the Nike Go Fly Ease. So, if y'all don't know me already, my name is Garrison Red. I'm probably the most swaggiest person y'all ever seen in a chair, but that's just me. Um, these sneakers right here is a game changer. Shout outs to Concepts, Wallet, all those good folks over there for letting me get early access to them. So, of course, we're going to rate in them for, you know, swag, durability, comfort, and ease to put on. So, these sneakers right here is different. These going to be my new gym sneakers. You know, as a para power lifter, world-class athlete, you got to have good feet and you got to be comfortable in the gym. So, Nike designed this sneaker right here with people with disabilities in mind. The reason how I know that is because of the fact that there's no lacing. So, you know, whether you have limited dexterity in your fingers or whatever the case may be, or amputee, these sneakers can go on virtually with limited function and or ability. So, for ease to put on, I must say, these are about a nine. The reason being it, because it may take a few to learn how to get on. You may have to figure out how you want to get the heel down. If you are a wheel, uh, I wouldn't say um, paralyzed, but if you're a spinal cord injury user, it, it might be a little bit difficult. So ease to put on, I would rate it around a nine. As far as swag, I like them. You feel me? They got a little touch to them. I like them. They swag with the right shorts, you know, a good gym fit. I think these could go down. I could really see these growing on people. And one of the cool things about these sneakers right here is, you know, it's universally designed. Anyone could wear them. So I'll get for swag. We're going to throw these at eight. How about that? These are a good eight facts. Now, durability. These are durable. Um... There's not too much, there's no suede whatsoever. Um, it's a lot of, you know, man-made materials, but that's usually good. So, like, something like this is going to last because you don't have to worry about them getting messed up in the rain. You know, they got different flavors, easy to clean. Um, you just got to watch the white, but, you know, get your good Jason Marks or whatever sneaker cleaner you use. And I could hook these bad boys right up. So, you know, as far as... Durability, we're going to give these a good nine and a half. Now, comfort. Comfort, I gave these a eight. The reason is because it's mad narrow. These are some narrow sneakers. So what I'm going to do right now is, you know, demonstrate how to put them on. But yeah, these are not that comfortable. But if they can make them a little bit wider... I think they could go all the way up to a 10. However, you know, the cushioning system is pretty good as well. So I like the cushioning. And now I'm going to show y'all how I will put these on. All right. So boom. All right, time to put these kicks on. So this is how I put on my shoes. I like to put my foot up on my chair. So I'm gonna take off the off whites, Jordan tools. The next video, I might just review these, you know, love sneakers. And so for the fly ease, this is how you put them on. See, up. Leg up, I put my foot in, hold the back, and then boom, they on, just like that. Very simple and easy. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Can't Feel My 